Hey, what's going on guys? It's Matt from Hubble Minecraft, and today I'll be doing a mod spotlight on the ICBM mod. So this mod's pretty cool. The whole mod is basically just concentrated on missiles. That's what ICBM is. So I'll start off by showing you the ores in this mod. So there is the uh, uranium ore, sulfur ore, copper ore, and tin ore, which are used throughout the whole mod. If without these ores, the mod wouldn't work. So here's the launcher control panel, tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3. So tier is like a technology in a way. So let's just say you have tier one, you're only limited to a certain amount of things. And if you go to tier three, you have way more things to go through. So there's also the launcher platform and support frame tier one, tier two, and tier three. We also have the glass pressure plate, which is basically just an invisible pressure plate. So nobody else would be able to see it. The only way to see it is actually with a slab like this. So here's the spikes, which is actually just an, another form of cactus, I guess, that you just put in the ground and you're just going to get hurt if you step in it. There's also the poison spikes, which will actually poison you if you stand, it, stand in it. Sorry about that. And we have the flammable spikes, which will actually make you catch on fire if you ever stand in it. So here's the radar station, which will actually alert you if there's an enemy missile heading your way. I've actually heard that this mod is multiplayer, so you can actually use these things really well if anything's headed for your base. There's also the EMP tower which will disrupt electricity and missiles. So here's the cruise launcher which is just a basic missile launcher. Sadly there is no crafting recipe for it yet. We also have the rail gun which you can actually climb into and shoot by pressing X which is actually pretty cool. It does use a lot of battery so use it wisely. So here's all the items for the mod. So I'm I'm just going to go through them really quickly. So there's the basic battery, copper ignit, tin ignit, steel ignit, steel alloy, basic circuit, advanced circuit, elite circuit, uh, copper wire, bronze ignit, and bronze alloy. There's also steel plate, motor, refined uranium, sulfur, poison powder, antidote, which you can actually use if you ever step in poison spikes. You just swallow that and you won't be poisoned anymore. So here's the missiles. Now the missiles uh, are basically just like the explosives, just you can actually make them fly. So instead of actually showing the missiles in this mod, I will show you the explosives instead. But it won't sh uh, do anything different because the missiles just fly to wherever you want, to, want them to detonate. So here's the conventional, shrapnel, incendiary, chemical, fragmentation, contagious, sonic, Breaching, nuclear, EMP, conflagration, endothermic, which I'm actually not going to use in this mod because it actually makes the whole Minecraft crash. Antimatter, which I'm actually going to show you is actually pretty useful if something actually happens, which I'm also going to show you. Missile module, which is just an empty missile. Uh, we also have red matter, anti-ballistic, uh, cluster, and nuclear. So here's the explosive diffuser, which let's just say if I light a nuke, I can actually just diffuse it with this. Uh, remote detonator, which I'm going to show you. Uh, radar gun, which actually saves coordinates. Uh, conventional grenade, which is a basic grenade. Laser designator, which is really hard to use. Uh, I, I personally don't use it. Uh, shrapnel grenade, which I find pretty cool. Incendiary grenade. Chemical grenade. A signal disruptor, which is sort of like the EMP tower. Just you can actually have it in your hand. Conventional and antimatter bullet. So here's a, a, to actually charge your battery. So you have a battery box here, a coal generator here, and a copper wire that goes to the battery box, which is actually going to, you put coal in here, it goes through the copper wiring, and you place a battery in here, it's going to charge it. So pretty basic. We also have the electric furnace, which you put a battery in to actually so here's the charge, basic uh, to actually for make a it go faster. Platform. Let's just say if you're smelting food and you want it to go fast, you put a battery in there, and it goes pretty quick. So uh, for some reason, uh, the detonator is not working well, so I'm just going to use the laser de designator, which is, seems to be working. So there's a countdown, and it's going to launch right where I want it to. And that was a missile. So the missiles work pretty good. They're, they are, it is a complicated mod to actually use. So you just gotta be, uh, just gotta pay attention to what you're doing. 
So here's the short fuse explosion, which is just uh, like a regular explosion, but it doesn't take time to explode. So as you can see, it's really fast to explode. Next is the shrapnel explosion, which is also pretty cool, so I'm just going to show you it. It's mostly used if you have a lot of mobs around you. As you can see, a lot of pigs died, so it actually works pretty well. Next is the incendiary explosion, which is basically just like a napalm strike, but just in explosion form. So here's the chemical explosion, which just uh, poisons anything around it. That's all, pretty much all it does. As you can see, I'm pretty dizzy. It's like if I was drunk, but this way I can die easier. So it will do this until this actually is over. So here's the fragmentation explosion, which is sort of like the shrapnel one, which it's just pretty much the same. So here's the contagious explosion, which is similar to the chemical explosion, just different effects. So as you can see, I'm pretty much just blind. So it sort of does the same thing, just has different effects. Next is the sonic explosion, which is honestly one of my favorite ones. You'll see why. It's pretty, pretty cool. But as you can see, it will make a pretty big mess. So next is the breaching explosion, which is pretty much the exact same thing as the short fused. Here's the nuclear explosion, which is my favorite explosion, just because it's pretty big. It does take time to explode, though, so if you want to see an explosion, you have to be patient. So here's the e EMP explosion, which will actually destroy every electronic around me. Sadly, there is no electronics, but just to show you what it does exactly so every electronic in the area would have been destroyed so here's the conflagration explosive which is actually sort of like the sonic explosion but it has like this big effect that takes the sunlight and actually puts it on the earth so I'll just show you that it's pretty cool if you ask me and really loud So as you can see now, it's dark. Uh, it's night because it actually took all the sunlight and directed it to the earth. So here's the well, red matter explosion, which actually has an matter explosion has an to actually make it source stop. source of actually sucking in things, which I I'm actually going to show you.
So as you can see, there's a pretty big hole in the ground that actually destroyed the bedrock itself. So uh, you actually put a lot of risk to actually put the red matter explosion in place. But just be precautious when you actually use it because you actually need to have the antimatter explosion to actually remove it. Well, that's the, that's the end of this video, guys. Uh, if you like the mod, there's a download link in the description below. But uh, that's pretty much it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.